What's going on everyone? I thought I'd just make a quick and easy tutorial to show you guys how to get started buying, trading, possibly leveraging Bitcoin on Bitfinex. Now I recommend Bitfinex out of all the different exchanges because they do the most volume as far as Bitcoin is concerned out of all the different exchanges. And it's really simple to get set, like set up and signed in. Uh, all you have to do is let's get rid of that. put in a username, put in your email address, and I can't stress enough how to, you really want to be security focused with Bitcoin from the beginning. You know, just get those good habits of making a really strong password. You know, I would also recommend maybe using a key generator, but I'm still not sure about those. Um, come up with a really good strong password, you know, one uppercase or maybe a few in between, uh, special characters, numbers, but maybe something that you need to write down to remember it. Um, and store it somewhere safe. But don't use the same password for everything else that you use and maybe read an article about how to make a strong password because just treat Bitcoin like it's worth a million dollars. How would you treat it if you were using this exchange and you had a million dollars on it? Would you be making a really easy password or would you be doing your best to protect that money? Just get in that habit from the get-go. It will really help you out in the long run and I'll just give you that time to make your password now. Uh, pause the video if you need to you know, follow those instructions, and uh, I'll show you what to do next. All right, so if you're ready to go, just click Open Account, and that should bring up a screen that tells you that they're sending you an email to verify your account. I already have mine open. You can just pause the video again if you need to go to your email account, and I'll give you a second. All right, so I have my email address set up. We're already ready to go, and I'll click Verify Email. That's what the email looks like. And I'll just X out of the other tab that I have open, because this will take you to the login screen. Then I'll just put in my username, Masta77. I made this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a few bucks into this account just to show you guys how to do the different things I do to make my returns. Um, but I'm not putting my email out there. I'm not trying to get dick pics. Anyways, uh, and I made it, you know, I would not recommend making a password that short. I'm just trying to get this out there real quick with the time that I have. So there, it's simple enough. Uh, I would always recommend reading these alerts or whatever announcements you get. So for instance, they're here, announcements. That's how I always start out because that's how I made the last return that I did. Well, I've made some returns before, uh, since then, but... That was one of my bigger returns, just by reading the announcements. And then they, they told everyone that they would be working on their code, and that is what led me to believe that that would cause some form of a panic and a sell-off. So yeah, we're inside the interface. It's fairly easy. Now, what I want to say with this is it's easy to sign up on most of these exchanges like that. But the hard part you'll find is, okay, now you want to buy a Bitcoin. Well... You go to the exchange, you need to have money on the account, dollar bills, euros, something, some form of currency to buy Bitcoin. Well, to do that, you have to link your bank account. And that's what you'll find with most of these other exchanges. And that's what I found. Uh, so you go to deposit. Say you want to deposit money. Then you have to verify your account. And I don't know of one exchange that doesn't make you go through this process. And I would be very cautious of an oh, exchange that doesn't because it seems like they're required to you know, get all this information from you. And if you click individual account, you'll see that you need to, pro to provide them with telephone number, email address, residential address, identification, two forms of valid government-issued ID with picture, bank statement, proof of address. That's a shitload of information, personal information to get started on an exchange, right? But there's options to get Bitcoin. So for instance, instead of putting money into the account, maybe you already have a Bitcoin, then it's fairly simple. All you have to do is you have three wallets to choose from. I would recommend starting off by depositing your Bitcoin into the deposit wallet because it's simple to move it to these other two. But I, that's just the way I do things. And then you're good to go. Then you can start using things like margin trading, where you can leverage your Bitcoin. And, you know, you can use that to leverage and you know, like you can borrow Bitcoins in a way. But I'll make a whole separate video on how to do that. Um, 
But I just want to show you uh, that that's where a lot of the problems you'll run into is trying to get money onto these exchanges to get started. So I wanted to say that if you contact me, I'll sell you a Bitcoin at a fair price, uh, just depending on whatever the market value is, and just add a small percentage on top and send it to whatever address you have. Uh, and also you have other options. So there's Paxful. I just want to show you the options. I would never, I would not recommend Paxful. I got scammed from by them when I first started out when I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, it's just a, it's a, just a giant site that really attracts scammers because anyone that's willing to give you an Amazon card that's worth a thousand bucks for Bitcoin that's at like six, what was it, six seventy three right now, was usually they usually got it some way or another and it wasn't the right way. Uh, I know of websites, because when I got scammed, I did my own research, and I found that the way these scammers get Amazon cards is they trick people into giving them to them, or they make these websites where they have a lot of popular products on them, on them, and they look like legitimate websites. They did a good job with that. I mean, nowadays, it's easier to create a website without having any coding experience, but they trick people by saying, okay, our merchant services are down, um, but we'll give you a... Better discount if you just pay us with Amazon cards. We accept that. And then they get a bunch of Amazon cards, and then after they get enough, they shut down the website. You know, there's usually like two week flyby operations. And then they have a bunch of Amazon cards, but they need somewhere to unload them. So they come places here like Paxful and they trade those for Bitcoin. So I just would tell you guys to stay away from it, but it's a way to get Bitcoin. Um, if you were to buy an Amazon card and trade it, but you're going to pay a huge premium. Next is local Bitcoins. I've never used them, but it's a kind of like a Craigslist for Bitcoins. You can meet up with people that have Bitcoins and they'll sell them to you also at a premium. Uh, I'll beat anyone's price on local Bitcoins. I can guarantee that. Just show me whatever their price is and what area you're in. And depending on the market value, I'll do that. But I'm not really here to try to be like a Bitcoin broker. I make enough money trading, but I really want to spread the word with Bitcoin and teach you guys how to use it. And I want you to get started on the right foot and scam free. Uh, there's also different exchanges like Poilinex where you have a lot of different options for altcoins. But if you're new to this, I would not jump into the altcoin market until you really understand trading. Then maybe, yeah. But because uh, there's just so many variables involved, it's basically anytime a news article that comes out, if it's good, the price goes up and it can go up quite a bit. Or if it's bad, then the price shoots down. It's simple as that. And uh, that's what I have to say about altcoins. And you're going to have a lot of different exchanges to choose from. You know, uh, what is it? Not Coindesk, but there's OKCoin, there's Coinbase, which you can use your debit card. Let's go there. I've never even gone into it too deep, so coin base. Um, but they're going to ask you for the same amount of information. And they're really easy to get set, like started and signed up with. But if you buy a Bitcoin from them, they think they take something like 24 hours or two days to release that Bitcoin to you. So if you do something like Bitfinex, I started on Bitstamp.net because I was living in Europe and I had Euros. And they, you know, you can buy Bitcoin with euros. You can see here. Uh, but that's where I started. I can't, I've come over to Bitfinex because I like the exchange. I like the way that it's set up. I like that you can use leverage um, and to get started. But I'm gonna keep making some more videos to show you guys how to use leverage, things like that. And uh, contact me if you want a Bitcoin or a piece of a Bitcoin. We'll try to figure something out. Um, but I'm primarily here to show you guys how I make money through trading and teach you guys the lessons I've learned the hard way. So I hope that helped out and hope it saved you a lot of time because I spent quite a bit of time uh, going and learning this stuff the hard way. So anyways, I hope you're all doing well. Take care. Treat each other like you would yourselves. And like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have a question. All right. Take care.